Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to take you through the processes to get access to your OSIS portal. The first thing you have to do to get access to your OSIS portal is to have access to your institutional email address or the student email. So to do that, you would first have to log in into the student email. The student email uses Gmail. So what we are going to do is, if you are using a phone, you are going to open Gmail app on your phone. If you don't have it on your phone, you have to download it. Now, if you are using a browser, you can type gmail.com in order to open Gmail. So after opening gmail.com, if you are using a browser, you would have to click on sign in. If you are using a mobile phone or a smartphone, after opening the Gmail account, you would have to add another account to it. So when you click on the profile on the top right corner of the Gmail app, you will see add another account in the pop-up menu that will show. You just tap on add another account and you get an interface just like this one. Now on this interface, what you have to do is to enter your student email address. Your student email address is your index number at st.uew.edu.gh. So in my case, I'm going to use this index number 524010010. This is the index number I'm using. Then I'm going to add at st.uew.edu.gh. So take note, this is your student email address. This email address is what you're going to use throughout your course of study. In the four year program or whatever program that you've applied to read in the university. This is going to be your student email so if you go for help and you are asked for your student email this is what you're supposed to give now the next thing to do is to click on next after clicking on next it will ask for your password when logging in for the first time the password is going to be your temporary student number so you can find that in your admission letter it starts with uew slash 23 and so on after entering your temporary student number then you click on next so this are the information if you like you can read them but I'm going to click on I understand so you can do same now on this next page is requesting that you change the password from your applicant number to something else so you would have to get a password for yourself a password that you will not easily forget make sure that every password you use in the school can be remembered by you easily else if you forget the password you would have to go in person to the IT support so that they reset the password for you so just make sure that the password you use here you can remember it very well so i'm going to put a password in mine so I'll enter the same thing here to confirm it Then after that, I'll click on change password. Now, if you used your applicant number to log in and now you want to create a new password and you are still using the applicant number, it's not going to work. As you can see on my screen. So it is telling me that I've used this password before. So I have to change it to something totally different. So I am going to change it to something different. The password should be 
8 characters or more for the email. So after entering your password, you click on change password. Now your email account will be open for you. So as you can see, mine has been open. Anytime you open your student Gmail account, you will see just two email from the Google team or the Gmail team welcoming you and all that. Now, now that we are done with opening the Gmail account, the next thing we have to do is to move on to OSIS. So I'm going to open a new tab. So on your smartphone or on your laptop, you should see a plus sign either at the bottom or at the top right corner where you can see mine. I'll click on plus then I'm going to visit the university website that is uew.edu.gh then I'll hit enter so on the university's website there are a lot of things there let's see where we have to go to get access to the OSIS portal now up here you see student page so if you're a student and you want easy access to your menus or anything, you just come to students page. I'll click on students page and then on the students page, you see OSIS, VClass, Mail and then Help Desk. So what I want right now is OSIS. So I'm going to click on OSIS. Now this is the interface you receive or you get when you click on OSIS for the first time. It's just giving you an information of an app, OSIS app. So after you go through this process, you can go ahead and download the app to enable you to log in easily. So we will look at how to download the app. If you want to download the app, you just have to go to either your app store if you're using iphone or google play if you're using android and you search for sip app it will pop up and then you download it now this is the interface for the osis student information portal right now that we have our email ready we are moving on to osis let's see how we can have access to our osis portal what we are going to do here is to click on forgot password. Please take note. You don't come here to log in with your student email and the password you use for the Gmail, no. After setting up your Gmail, you have to come and click on forgot password. So after clicking on forgot password, it will require or to ask of your student email. Remember, we said your student email is your index number at st.uew.edu.gh. So I'm going to enter mine here. So I've, I'm done entering my index number then at st.uew.edu.gh. Then I'm going to click on I'm not a robot. You solve the puzzle then you can verify so mine is requesting that I select anywhere I see bicycles yours could be cars yours, yours could be crossroads or zebra crossing or houses anything anything this instruction over here in the blue background asks you to do you have to do before you can verify so in my case, I'm going to select every bicycle I see in any of the boxes. I can see another bicycle here, um, another bicycle here, this is a fire hydrant and um, I think I am done. So I'm going to click on verify, you see it has verified me that I'm not a robot, I'm a human being. Then I will go ahead and click on reset. Take note. I'll click on reset. 
then you should see this message success a password reset link has been sent to your inbox please check your email inbox so it means that we have to go into the inbox of our student email so i'll click ok then i'll switch back to my student email to check if the link has arrived so i have loaded it sometimes the link could take some time before it arrives so you have patience if you request for a link it will take about five hours before you can request another link so at a time when you request a link and you don't get it you can request again in five hours time so if you receive the link it's going to appear like this you see osis notification sip password reset requested so all you have to do is to click on it then you click on change your password after clicking on change your password you'll be taken to this interface so over here you have to put a password that you want to use in logging into your osis portal then again make sure you don't forget this password if you forget the password and you remember the password for the email you can do the reset by yourself you don't need to go anywhere for password reset so make sure you keep your email password very well if in case you forget your osis password then you can use your email to reset your osis password and you get access to your osis account again so over here i'm going to choose a password for myself the osis portal requires a password of six or more characters so you can input six characters or more then make sure that the password matches my password is not matching i have to make sure it matches okay now i'll go ahead and click on reset password Now you can see reset successful. It means I have successfully placed a password on my OSIS portal. So anytime I want to log in, I can do that with ease. So this is the interface of the OSIS portal. When you come here, the menus, if you are using the phone, you see that this menus will look like this. You would have to click on something here for it to show so this is the dashboard this is the registration page when you click on it then you come and tap on regular registration if you see a message like this it means that um, you are owing school fees or you've not paid 50 percent of your school fees if you have paid 50 percent or you are not owing and you still see this kindly report to the student finance at the student center for it to be rectified for you then we have a academic plan it will show you the courses you will be doing for each semester and then we have academic results that's after you write exams and you are graded this way you can check your results and then this way you can check your account statements where you'll be billed and the fees that you've paid will be reflecting it will all show here and we have timetable and lecture evaluation when you come to the profile you can view your profile to check if your information is correct so for instance you can check your name your level the program you are reading if you see any mistake or any omission in your details 
please report to your department administrator and they will take note and forward it for it to be addressed for you. If you want to log out to, you see the icon over here, you click on it, then you log out. So this is surely how to get access to your UEW OSIS student portal.